Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday after a wild, wild Wednesday night. Holy shit. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. I think I'm just going to ignore the whole mess because when I left this at 10 p.m., it was 29.15. This is the ES chart. I come back, it's 29.15. This is delayed here. Um, it's actually 29.15 right now. In the meantime, we saw 83, we saw 20, we saw 10, we saw 20 on a series of headlines and, and craziness <clears throat> from Trump and the Chinese delegation. and uh, So I don't know. I don't know what to say except for the fact that it looks like we're at a point now where we're going to get either a mini deal or no deal. So core short again seems to be the way. I don't think we really want to touch this right here at 29.15. A mini deal is probably worth a move back up to 40 or 50. Um, but then I think it's it's a sell there. And then again, if you see a negative headline, just try and scramble and hit a bid um, on the way down. But um, mini deal looks like the most likely outcome here. Let's move on to Euro. Our Euro trend line's a little bit lower. Today it comes in approximately at, uh, I don't know, 12 or 15. Um, traded up to 93. Euro's been dead. So much gamma, I guess. I don't know why. Uh, you know, the range just kept, keeps reducing and reducing. This will be one, two, three, four, kind of the fifth try. I guess you, if you count yesterday as, as the fifth, or we trade up to 91 yesterday. We've already been to 93.4 today. Fifth, sixth time. Is this going to break 110? I don't know. Uh, every, every day, you know, looks more and more likely. Each day I'm fairly surprised it hasn't gone. Um, but, um, you know, if you think about it, on Monday the trend line is going to be um, 109.97 or, or 110, the figure. So um, let's just keep an eye on this. Again, the bears are selling in, in front of this trend line. The bulls will be buying if this trend line breaks. Some will wait for an hourly close above. Some will wait for a daily close above. Um, this is, I think, an important trend line to watch, just in general, for the dollar in general. What else is out there? Let's take a look at Boone's. Boone's went up to 60 last night, back down to 93. Um, for Euro to break, we would like to see Boone's lower. Um, just craziness on the price action last night. We'll see. Uh, 86 was now a double bottom down here. We'll see how that trades. Not a whole lot to say about that. Let's go to cable. We had a zimmer yesterday up to up to 90 on some bullshit uh, backstop news. Back down to 20. We still like Sterling Longs. Uh, Sterling Swiss in particular is our horse. We think there's going to be an extension. We think there's going to be an election. And we think at the end of the day, there's just going to be no Brexit. There's going to be another vote. And uh, there'll be no Brexit. So how we get there and what happens to the pound in the meantime is, is going to be lots of um, herky-jerky moves. Um so this certainly looks like we're going to take at least one visit down through 121.96. Um, one, two, three, four lows there. We'll have to see. If you think that euro is going to break top side and sterling is going to break down side, you got to look at this euro sterling chart and kind of also be like, I don't know, through 90 cents. There's going to be some action. Uh, but again, that's not our side. Um, we are looking to collect sterling on low ones. 
trade it a bit when the profit, uh, when you, when it's news driven, uh, sort of like yesterday, vague news driven pops, you kind of want to trade, but you need to hold core so you don't miss it. And, you know, the trade of the year is going to be cable through 126. Sounds crazy, but put it in your trading book. 126 is once we break 126, we're on our way to 140. Um, so this will be the trade of the year, November 18th, 10:30 a.m. or something. So until that point, we're collecting sterling. We like sterling topside, um, tradable long with a core long behind it. Talk about Euro Aussie a lot. Core long euro Aussie we like. Um, keeps just kind of flipping around up to 163.670 last night. Back down here, 162.80. Um, we obviously don't think this is going to get below this sort of 159 handle. It's a choppy fucker, this one. So try and stay core long. We do think this is going to eventually get up to one 167 even 168 um, this is more of a medium term position as is the sterling swiss as is the short boons back to the daily business of, of this we do have some uh, stuff out today we got German, German trade out in an hours time French industrial production UK uh, GDP data and trade balance and then ECB releases um, minutes today that's the European morning um, all kind of second tier uh, the focus obviously is uh, this euro dollar top side we talked about getting long euro yen um, yesterday god 118.44 my lord um, we ended up squaring our longs at 118.10 yesterday. Just kind of grabbed some cash. But uh, this does look like it, it could continue. And if we do get a sort of trade deal light, or if Euro just decides to break, uh, this might just drag Euro yen higher. Um, tricky, tricky to trade. Let's look at the hourlies on that. <laughs> My God. First down to 117.50, then up to 118.44. Good luck with that, people. I mean, that is Casino Royale. Heavens to Betsy. Wow. I don't know what to say, really. I mean, after you have such a wild night, you know, you really can't really sink your teeth into anything because it's all so, you know, insane. Just be patient, I guess. You know, our focus is on the euro. Here's our here's our famous little uh, sterling uh, gold. Trade it up there again at 22. It's the gold pennant that everyone's going to be watching. Now we kind of also have, no, it's 26. But this breaks today at uh, 25. So this is if, the ch if China walks out and ch shit starts hitting the fan. Gold through 25 looks okay. Um, but again, our main focus is, is on this euro and this euro trend line. We will be trading stocks tactically to try and add some cash to the pad. Um, we don't mind short dollar CAD. Ventured up to 45 last night, down to 17. You can add to this if you are short through 132.90. This is a nice little pivot. And once we get down through that, we should bleed back down to these uh, 132, the figure lows. Not too much help this morning. Uh, again, because of the craziness last night, you want to let the charts settle a little bit. And you want to try and get the markets to settle. Obviously, we're watching Euro, playing around in stocks. Um, that's basically it, uh, you know toying with some dollar CAD on the short side, um, but uh, the main focus is Euro today. 
All right, folks, good luck out there. Make some dough. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.